Ever wondered what learning vector quantization in machine learning is? Well, buckle in, because today we're delving into this fascinating concept. Now, imagine a vast universe of data points scattered across an infinite expanse. The task at hand is to make sense of this universe, to chart it, to categorize it. This is where learning vector quantization, or LVQ, comes into play. LVQ is a type of artificial neural network algorithm, but unlike other neural network algorithms, it's a prototype-based supervised learning method. Prototype-based, you may ask? Well, it means that it uses representative examples or prototypes of the classes found in the training set to classify new data points. To understand LVQ, first we need to understand vectors. In the world of machine learning, a vector is a mathematical object with both direction and length. It's used to represent data points in space. Now, the term quantization refers to the process of constraining something from a large set of values, like a continuous range, to a smaller set, like a discrete set. So the process of learning vector quantization essentially involves learning to map vectors from a high-dimensional input space to a lower-dimensional space. It does this by finding the best matching unit for each input vector and adjusting the weights of the neural network accordingly. The beauty of LVQ is its simplicity. It's not as computationally intensive as other machine learning algorithms, making it a popular choice for tasks like pattern recognition and classification. However, like all things in life, LVQ isn't perfect. One drawback is that the initial placement of prototypes can significantly impact the performance of the algorithm. It can also be sensitive to the choice of learning rate and the ordering of the training data. But despite these challenges, LVQ remains a valuable tool in the machine learning toolbox. It's a testament to the power of simplicity in a field often associated with complexity. So, to recap, learning vector quantization is a prototype-based supervised learning method. It learns to map vectors from a high-dimensional input space to a lower-dimensional space by finding the best matching unit for each input vector and adjusting the weights of the neural network. It's simple, it's efficient, but it's not without its drawbacks. Remember, in the vast universe of data, it's not about finding every single star. It's about finding the constellations, the patterns that make sense of the chaos. And that's exactly what LVQ helps us to do. So, the next time you're faced with a vast data set, remember the power of learning vector quantization. It just might help you navigate the stars. And with that, we've reached the end of our journey through learning vector quantization. Thanks for joining, and until next time, Keep exploring the universe of machine learning.